What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are jumping into Warzone. Today, we are covering how to unlock the Season 1 Vanguard Battle Pass weapons here in Season 2 for those of you that are free to play in Warzone. Now, I know not everyone was able to play enough in Season 1 to get them unlocked. Maybe you're a new player joining us here in Season 2, or maybe you just didn't play at all in Season 1, and you're looking to unlock the Cooper Carbine or the Garenko Anti-Tank Rifle, which is the Sniper Rifle. You guys have some great luck coming your way because all you have to do is complete a couple of challenges. And in today's video, like I said, we're going to be covering some tips and tricks on how to make that easier, best location on the map, and I'm even going to recommend some class setups for you guys to do this the easiest possible way. But before we jump into the rest of the video here, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 50 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button onto that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, now in order to unlock a weapon, you're gonna need to know what that challenge is. So let's go ahead and start with the Cooper Carbine. Go to where you edit your loadout, go to the Assault Rifle category, scroll all the way down to the Cooper Carbine, and the challenge will read as follows. Using Assault Rifles, get five or more headshots in 15 different completed matches. Essentially, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. You're getting five headshots while using an assault rifle, and you are gonna have to do that in 15 matches, and you're gonna have to stay through and finish those matches out. Now, in order to get things rolling, let's go ahead and talk about what game mode you are going to be playing, because it's gonna be the same for both weapons, and it's going to be Plunder. The reason I recommend Plunder is because it gives you an extended amount of time. I've had matches go the entire time limit almost without going in overtime. I've had matches last 20 plus minutes, the main point here is it's giving you the most amount of time to get the challenge completed because not everyone is going to have the same experience going for the challenge. Some people might take 10 minutes to get a five headshot. Some people might take 20 minutes to get five headshots. Everybody's experience, like I said, is going to be different and it's going to be a different level of challenging for each individual. So plunder is going to give you that extended time. The unfortunate part there is if you do get your headshots early on and you didn't need the extended time, you do still have to remain in that match for the extended amount of time. Now, the locations on the map I do recommend is also gonna be universal to both weapons. First place I recommend and the most popular is going to be Airfield. Airfield seems to be the most popular place for people leveling up weapons, jumping in just to get warmed up. Just overall, the most engagements possible on the map of Caldera, is, at least in Plunder, it's gonna be Airfield. So you guys will have really good chance to do this there. It is all gonna be up to you to be able to hit your shots and take people out. A real recommendation to trying to get headshots with an assault rifle is just aim a little bit high. Don't worry about deaths. They do not count against you in this particular challenge. And as long as you're able to get back in and you know challenge another person, it's not gonna really matter a whole lot and you guys will still be able to do this pretty quickly. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the class setup that I recommend for you guys to complete this challenge the easiest way. And that's going to be the STG. Alrighty, so for our STG attachments, we have the following. For our muzzle, we have the F8 Stabilizer. Barrel VDD 760mm 05B. For the optic, we have the G16 2.5X. For the stock, VDD 27 Precision. Perks, I have Vital and Fully Loaded. Rear Grip Stippled. Magazine, we have the 8mm Kurs 60 Round Drums. Lengthened as our ammunition. And our last attachment, the underbarrel, we have the M1941 Handstop. One recommendation I can give to you guys to make this a little bit easier, at least minimize the amount of headshots you have to get, you can always fly to the end of the flight path, especially if you're struggling, and try to get the AFK players. Just sometimes can be a struggle trying to get back to the area of the map that you want after doing that, and it could waste a lot of time. But it is still an option. So now that we've covered the Cooper Carbine, let's go ahead and jump into the Garenko Anti-Tank Rifle, which is a sniper rifle. Very much similar to the PTRS from history, if you guys know what that is. Now with this weapon, obviously some things are going to be the same, but first let's jump into the challenge. If you guys go to where you edit your loadout, go over to the sniper rifle category, scroll down to the Garenko anti-tank rifle, the challenge will read as follows. Using sniper rifles, get 10 single shot eliminations in 15 different completed matches. Now this one, the only real challenge here is having to get 10 eliminations. I think getting one shot kills happens a little bit more frequently with sniper rifles than it doesn't. However, you are going to have to get lucky in some aspects because I had a lot of one shot kills that just didn't seem to count as one shots. So I did actually have to get a little bit more than that. But I think I'm fairly confident if you guys choose a nice area, very similar to what we talked about before at airfield on the outskirts, you guys won't have too many issues picking people off. I think you guys will more than likely be able to get this complete. The solo players are way easier to kind of pick off just because they will be instant eliminations. And a lot of the time, those are the players that you'll get those to count on. As people go down, it doesn't always say one shot, one elimination. 
You know what I mean? So it doesn't always seem to count, but I'm not exactly sure if it actually has to pop up for it to work. Also the same as doing the Cooper Carbine, you are gonna wanna jump into Plunder, giving you the extended amount of time. It's gonna be extremely useful for going for these one-shot eliminations. Pick some high ground, pick the outskirts, follow people in if you have to. I had a very simple time with the few matches I did actually finding at least 10 plus people in a match. It was just be a matter of if you actually get the 10 eliminations with one, one shot. So that'll be a real struggle here, but I will share with you guys the loadout that I did choose to do this. And I overall had some pretty good success. Again, we're sticking to the Vanguard weapons as we are unlocking a Vanguard weapon. So we are gonna be talking Car 98K, so let's get on into it. Alrighty, for my Car 98 class, we have the attachments as follows. For the muzzle, the F8 stabilizer, the barrel VDD 660MM 05HE. I don't have any optic as I do like the stock sight. And then for the stock, we have our short stock, perk, quick scope, and deep breath. We have rear grip, our leather grip. Magazine, I don't have any at this current time on. For the ammunition, FMJ rounds, under barrel, the M1930 stripe angled. You could probably change some of these around. This is just what I had running on the particular class that we were using. All right, you guys are all set up with your Car 98 class. You guys know to jump into plunder. You guys also know so you guys should go over to airfield again similar to the challenge we did with the assault rifle if you are struggling trying to get the one-shot kills you could try to hit the afk people at the end make sure you aim at the head and you'll get those one-shot eliminations typically if they are solo players and you hit a headshot you should be able to get the single shot elimination it's just tricky when players go down whether or not it's going to actually count even if you do hit them once down them hit them again and actually take them down i think that counts as two shots but it is a little bit tricky with this. Just make sure you're seeing one shot, one kill on there and you guys will be able to get this completed. Make sure you stay through to the entirety of the match. Hit those outskirts, stay on the high ground and you shouldn't have too many issues getting these weapons unlocked and you guys will be able to enjoy them in Warzone. I don't know if there's much else that I could include in these videos to make it easier for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions on things I can include in the future, make sure you guys leave that down in the comment section below. Otherwise, that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. I appreciate you guys for all the support in today's video. Hopefully all these tips and tricks Plus the class setups will make it a little bit easier and good luck out there unlocking these weapons. I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys again for all the support. Peace.